to YouTube, it's your boy King Supreme, back in the visitor, we got the very best of Dawn Brickles, now if you're new here, welcome to the channel, homie, just be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you need to see more bangers from your boy, you feel me, cause the grind never stops, but hey, today, today we got some more that boy, Dawn Brickles, bro, oh my god, I am so, so excited, bro, oh my gosh, I Yo, the first video we got to from Don Rickles, bro, it was like his most savage insult, stuff like that, bro. Oh my gosh, what a crazy, crazy video, bro. We finally figured out, or finally found out what type of time in Don Rickles on, because that was my very first reaction on him of all time on my channel. So that was the very first time reacting to him, so I just had to get to some more of that dude, Don Rickles. I have a lot more different, I saw a lot of different comments from y'all down below, um, from what one, one videos I wanted to see, and I saw this one, the very best of Don Rickles, and I seen there's a lot of more videos I got, I got to get to. From him. So I got a lot more of him on deck. Let me know if y'all want to see those videos because they'll be posted um, throughout the week um, and just on my channel. So I really want to get to some more of him, bro, because this dude, he's different, bro. He's different, bro. I'm loving getting to these, you know, different uh, comedians, these different uh, individuals, bro, because it's such a cool time. But I love this journey on my channel, getting to all these different, um, all these different, uh, different kind of reactions. So I love it, bro. I love it, bro. And it's all because y'all, y'all, y'all the ones that gave me this suggestion in the comments. So I really appreciate that so much. So be sure to flood the comments down below again. Every single video I want to see you next from Don Rickles and anybody else y'all mess with because I found him from y'all from y'all comments. So. I read all the comments, so make sure down below y'all y'all uh, let me know. But um, yeah, appreciate y'all. It's the road to 50k, so you know the grind doesn't stop. Uh, make sure I turn on those post notifications because these videos will continuously be posted, bro. But, bruh, we're in for a good one today, bro. So fuck it up, get your popcorn, get your snack, get your candy, get all of that, bro. Because we about to get uh, about to be a good time today, bro. We got the very best of Dawn Rickles. Let's get straight into it, y'all. From Casino, from Casino, the pit boss of warmth, Dawn Rickles. Boy, Don, bro, he got no filter, bro. I'm telling you all, bro. It is now 11 o'clock, and I'm fed up and tired. <laughs> My man, tired, man. You fed up. Marty, I would address... Somebody get a phone book so you can see me. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Marty, when we see all the films you did, None of them were great. Damn! No, no. Well, it's, it's true. You know, Bro, Bob and I did crazy. like eight pictures together. Um, we would put everything we had into each, and we'd always be excited about doing the next one. Then we did Casino with Don 20 years ago. <laughs> and we haven't worked together since. <laughs> Now, it's amazing, <laughs> it's amazing, Don, the influence you've had on our careers. Yeah, Don, on behalf of Leo DiCaprio, thanks a lot. <laughs> Marty, you are the most annoying director I ever had. <laughs> bro, he coming at everybody. No filter, bro. De Niro is sitting there. God bless you, Bobby. He's got the beard on. To, to know him is a treat. He's one of the great actors of our time. You ask him. Uh, you asked it, they'll tell you. We didn't need a star, we needed uh, just a Jew who would, you know, work cheap and who would. We, we, could, we could bury in a, in a bit part, a couple of lines in the background, and the shots, you know, like that. So. Jackie Mason wasn't available, so who do we get? Don Rickles. It, it was a true collaboration, right, Don? <laughs> Bro, this dude you is... You're supposed to say I should have known better. I'm saying. <laughs> For the kind of money you're making, we need the car. <laughs> this dude Funny is something else, bro. Sit in here and study. <laughs> With your method acting with the breathing and the bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you know why, so let's get at it. Well, when Bob De Niro and I are on the, on the same stage together these days, it's usually to give each other lifetime achievement awards. So we see each other mainly at award ceremonies and memorial services. <laughs> Like tonight. <laughs> we want to honor your memory, Don, so here we are. Though if I'd been directing this, I don't think I would have gone for the open casket. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Rest in peace, old friend. 
And yes, he knew Sinatra, and, and he managed to say it in every goddamn sentence he ever said. Yeah. yeah, I knew Frank. Frank loved me. There was Frank in my front row. Frank always came to see me. I told Frank this. I told Frank that. I'm so f sick of hearing <laughs> about Frank Sinatra enough oh. already. It made me want to tell Frank to go f himself. Damn. I don't know how to tell you this, Don, but Frank is dead. Coincidentally, dead is also the average age of your fans. This game, you're not. I brought a friend. Who is your friend? That's why I came in. I've been, I've been trying to set this up for 10 years. What are you saying? Oh, wait a minute. I'm bringing a friend, Artie. Oh, this better be who I think it is. I'm bringing a friend, Artie. Who? Where is she? Can I predict who? And where, where is she? Dave it's, Coulier? Yeah, Dave good one. Coulier. Look, where is <laughs> she? Friend. Uh, uh, you got some I, music, uh, Fred? Oh, my God. Don Rickles. Ladies and gentlemen. Don Rickles. He yeah. said, yeah. where? He said, where is she? <laughs> wow. Wait a minute. Let's start the friends again. Yeah, really? The friends are all It's a real comedian. Wow. Yeah. yeah. We were just in a room full of hacks. Mr. Rickles. Real comedian looks like. Mr. Rickles, the man works in a, in a closet. <laughs> Mr. Rickles, you don't have to give me a copy of your book. I'm already reading it. But if there's something in here about it, oh, you should read Thank you. All right, I will read it. Uh, Don Rickles wrote a book. Yes. Don Rickles is my hero. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm, what am I getting Gary, leave him alone. The hell is it? Let him sit down. What are you doing to him? <laughs> you hung out with Sinatra, Carson, all the big names. And but did you feel you were at a low point in your life <laughs> when you had to do Artie's movie? No. Dirty work. This is. <laughs> <laughs> John Stamos told me for years that he was friendly with you, and I'm going to be honest with you. you I didn't, didn't believe him for a minute. Like, why would a guy of your intellectual, <laughs> yeah, my intellectual, and, and your com comedic ability? Why would you? What do you see? Him? Because, what do you see in him? The course goes around for you to see. Well, he says he says he wants to meet a wife, girl, and settle down. But every time we go to dinner, how it's it's no joke. I mean, he really they come over to the table and go, John, don't call me. And I said, what is that, Chad? <laughs> nothing, nothing. I know nothing. I just want to have a nice meal and meet a nice girl. Bro, I could watch this shit all about day, his sex life? No, 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 no. He doesn't. No, he's very, very quiet about Are that. Are you jealous of his sex life ever? No, no, I have my chances. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, when I was his age, I wasn't laying around the house with a Mormon book in my hand. When I read your book, Don, the Don Rickles book, yeah. that I'm reading it right now, you paint yourself as a loser with women early on in your I was, life. You know, uh, you know why? And I think maybe, I don't know if you had that problem when you were a young man. Oh, look at me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he said, look at my problem. He said, look at you look like a Jew Zulu. That's what you look like. <laughs> now, the greatest moment in that movie that you did with Artie is when you, I think you ad libbed it, you turned to him and you said, <laughs> So there you are, Tubby. Ah, look like a bucket of lard on a bad day. You, baby gorilla. Why don't you work a zoo and stop bothering people? Day. Got a call yesterday from Baskin Robbins. They said that they're down to only five flavors. You're swelling up as I talk to you. You look at you, you baby gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, and you he, talk to the basket and Robin Baby gorilla is crazy. You addressed, you addressed the food in his stomach, which I thought was a stroke of genius. Look at you. How's this? How's it doing? <laughs> Hello, ice cream. Having a good time? Running around? <laughs> Uh, I love that. And Arnie, that was your single greatest moment. Wasn't well, it? it's the, my, the greatest moment in the history of my career. I not only told it on this show, I said the first time I ever do the David Letterman show, I'm going to get the segment producer in a headlock. I'd even peep that was him, bro. I'd even peep he was there. I'm like, oh my, oh, this is a, I'd even peep that was him right there. He did that shit. That's good, bro. This dude, bro, this is... But if it was like this, shit like this, comedians and all these different other different acts, but it's so cool. You know, I could watch these all day, but like this is such a cool time, you know, this vibe and chilling with y'all, kicking and watching some cool stuff, bro. This 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 what it's all about, bro. This is what it's all well, about. Let me bro. tell that story first. So I've told it here and I've told it on Letterman. It's uh it it's is a classic. Of, it's it's just I got to be on the screen with one of the the legends, man. Why are you why are you hollering up here? <laughs> 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 the first day of shooting.
we have to work with the great Don Rickles. Tremendous. Okay. Just tremendous. Now, that's good and bad. I'm happy to meet him, but I'm afraid I'm just going to bust out laughing because Don Rickles, coincidentally enough, plays a guy who insults me in Newark. <laughs> <laughs> it's typecasting. And uh, they give Don a bunch of lines to learn, and that's a mistake. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a master at it. So finally, he couldn't really remember the lines. They say, Don, look, look at Norm and Artie, look at these two schlubs, and just insult them. Off the top of, off the top of your head. I didn't. So this is the That's first wild. shot of the movie. And I got Don Rickles about to insult me. So uh, the yell action, the great Bob Saget directed the movie. Bob Saget? <laughs> Don, uh, Don had just finished Casino with Scorsese. Yeah. He went up to Saget and he said, Bob, listen, I was talking to Martin Scorsese. I said, Marty, Bob Saget's directing a film. The man grabbed his chest. Because <laughs> I don't think about my motivation and everything, you know, Martin, if you're like that's it. That's crazy. That was off of the dome where he was, he was insulting him. 20 minutes, he's got to go in the closet to figure out why. Why, why did I draw the gun? Why did I... Why did I fire the pistol? Why? Because I keep saying, Bob, it's Thursday, fire the gun. You know. <laughs> Enough of that actor, though. That, that. So, uh, then he gets, Rickles gets the norm, he's laughing, so they had to write him a line. He goes, what are you laughing at? Because I called your friend a fat pig. <laughs> I feel like when he was laughing in the, uh, what's it called? The dude, when we saw the little clip in the dude, I feel like, like that wasn't even, I feel like he was laughing just because he couldn't hold in his laughter, bro. I never watched that movie, so I don't know either way. But, uh, let me know if y'all watched that movie in the comments, bro. But, this shit, bro, this shit, this shit is something different, bro. So, hey, he becoming one, hey, bro, again, make sure y'all comment down below what all the new videos, I, I see a bunch of different suggestions, bro, so I got a lot of stuff waiting to react to from him on deck. So just let me know in the comments. I got y'all, bro. What are you laughing at? Because I called your friend a fat pig, huh? You think that's funny? Oh, no, I was just laughing. Oh, Normie. When you were talking to his belly. Did you get a horse and live in the mountains someplace? Don't bother anybody. Got a personality like a dead moth. <laughs> I didn't even peep that was Norm. I, 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 no, I was just laughing when you were talking. The first time. So while we're filming in the movie, he goes to Norm, he goes, how did you get a movie? <laughs> And Saget goes, Saget being a brilliant director, goes, cut. Don, you can't insult them as Norm MacDonald. <laughs> That's not going to work, you know. Right. He's, we can't put him in the film. His, his name is Mitch in the film. Insult Mitch. Right. So Rickles goes, all right. And the next thing he goes, he goes, look at you. He goes, he goes who wrote this script? These jokes are horrible. <laughs> Cut, Don, don't insult the script. <laughs> we can't use it. So anyway, it was 18 hours of that. At the end of the day, I went up to him. I said, Mr. Rickles, it was a pleasure working with you. And uh, he looked at me and he said, listen, I was watching you all day. And listen, let me tell you something. Good luck working construction. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so Bert Lancaster rest is always the same way when I did my first picture. was when Simon went mm -hmm. Here's a kid. I walk on the set. Clark Gable and Burt Lake. It's the first movie of my life. Never saw a movie. With, he knows about this. And the guy said, You write about it in your book? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and it's true. Yeah. But Burt Lake said, They're always on the side. They'd say, You know, Donnie, you kind of know what the submarine's about. <laughs> know, know why they die. Know why they come up. I'll do it. I said, Burt, I don't know. This is me, too. So I said to, I said, so I said to Clark Gable, I said, uh, 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 Mr. Gable, he said, Call me Clark. I, I, I said, Clark, he's asking me about this. Said, Forget that crap. Just do the lines and we'll go. You spent a lot of time in your book on Sinatra. I mean, you really so loved this guy. What, 40 years so. ago? Yeah, people people can't figure it out. People can't figure it out. <laughs> yeah. why, he, why, did he, why did he not have you killed? I mean, you would say terrible, <laughs> terrible things about him. I don't understand it. Because my manager at the time had other guys that could kill him. <laughs> That's good. But uh, you tell that great story. I mean, you probably told it a million times. But, you, you, but in the book, you, you write it very, very well. Oh, thank you. The whole uh, Sinatra story about when you you know you were your dating wasn't going so great yeah. you finally get a date with a girl and then you're there at the club in las vegas you're eating dinner and uh, the girl turns and says i see frank sinatra over there do you think you could introduce me to frank sinatra Dang. and you did the most brilliant thing in the world all the security was around i said Psst, frank can i talk to you a minute and he said there's Bullethead. He called me Bullethead. She said, there's Bullethead. What is it? I said, Frank, if you could come over a couple of minutes and just say hi to me with the girl, it would skyrocket me. <laughs> I got a good shot at hitting a home run, you know? He said, you got it. But don't come over right away. 
So I went back and I was giving her that cheap champagne. That would be wingman. And her lips were dancing and, you know, my body was <laughs> twingling, you know. And I tried to be cool and I said, sweetheart, I just, don't worry about it, boom. And she said, look who's coming. And he, he, Frank struts over it. Had on this beautiful blazer in those days with, that, with an ascot, you know, he goes, Don, how are you? And I got up and went, not now, Frank, can't you see I'm with somebody? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he bro. He left both times, bro. He's like, hey, bro, come over here. You know, it look, it, it's gonna make me look good, bro. And both times, he's like, bro, I'm trying to do this. Like, he is, bro, he is insane, bro. Oh my gosh. Sure, lift me over their heads and carry me out of the <laughs> casino. Oh, the greatest story ever. Uh, sure, because for me, and I'm getting all serious. They I'm, got him out of the casino. Really, you are one of the biggest influences in my life. Oh, thank you, man. It really is true. I mean, when when I was a kid, and I would sit and watch you on the Mike Douglas show specifically, or... Uh, the Tonight Show. Oh. Stern knows his stuff about Rickles, bro. He's talking about this. He said he already read his whole book, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You could tell, like, Stern, how is that's his name, right? He has a, yeah, he really messes with uh, Rickles. Yeah, any of these shows, yeah. I, I, whenever I get to go on Letterman, I go, if I could be half as good as Don Rickles, was, I would Always be entertained. A home run. I, I, I get the chill saying this to you because I never saw anybody come out there and be so entertaining. And Every I think time. That's why when I go on these talk shows, it is so important to me to be entertaining because I sat as a kid there next to my mother who was droning on about her problems. <laughs> and then Don Rickles would come on and, and drown her out and make me laugh. <laughs> and oh, it was so magnificent. Dang. It was the most beautiful symphony I've ever heard. Those dang. were very kind of yeah, well, I, Dang, that's a, that's a whole lot of respect, bro. Cool. That's big kudos, bro. I bet you Rickles felt so like. of all time. A legendary comedian, author, actor, and Mr. Potato Head. He's a two time Emmy winner. This year alone, The Merchant of Venom, the czar of the zinger. This year is poster child for rabies. Here is Mr. Warmth himself, Don Rickles. Poster child for. Our goal is pretty simple. Bruh. I want to help you get what's in here. Yeah, I need to comment down below more Don Rickles stuff, man. Y'all know the deal. How long you been doing comedians? Comed how long? When did he first start, bro? I want to tell you something as a friend, Riaz. With these two lovely Japanese girls, you made a fool of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, can I do it a couple of minutes? No. no. <laughs> no. Give me a break. I'm so lonely. <laughs> Oh! You don't have to laugh. Just look at me and you know what I mean. Denzel. I, uh, I I heard that you. Why is he sitting here? Does he have to clean up or something? <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to be out here. Oh, because he's not the land. You're just Denzel. Denzel. You're not gonna have the land. You're stupid, man. You're not gonna have the land. There's no bird. This is not your land. You take. Huh? I'll cross some cigarette box. Uh -huh. Oh my God! This is if for one thing about him, he is mad entertaining, bro. Like you can't, you can't take your eyes off, bro. You know how long I've had the cigarette box on this desk? You brought that up from New York. I brought this from New York. What on earth? It happened last night. Who? Don Rickles. I did not see Don Rickles did it last night. Are you putting me on now? No, no. Don Rickles did it last night on the show. He's taping across the hall. CPO Sharp. Can I get over there? Can I get over there? He said he taped my cigarette box? Be right back. He said, hold up now. Hold up, I didn't. Are they taping? Are they on the air? I don't give a damn if they're on the air. Rickles, I the taping. Somebody broke my cigarette box. He said, you know how fucking, he said, you know how long I had that cigarette, cigarette box there? And then the tape, he's like, yeah, yeah, Don Rickles, he was just here, he yeah, he broke <laughs> He said, wait, he's like, wait, who did? Don, yeah, he's, he's taping, like, bro, I don't give a fuck, he's, he, bro, he said, I don't care, I'm gonna go in there. Are they Aaron? Oh, they Aaron? I don't care, bro. I've never seen nothing like this before, this is crazy. He said, come here. I just 
started the show, I picked my box up off my desk that I've had for nine years. My box is broken. They told me, they told me you broke it on the show last night. Well, I, I, I really... I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry about the box. I will, I will come up with something. Well, I hope so. But just keep me on your show. You mean so much to me. Can I? No, no, please. No, no, no. Don't, don't humble yourself. Please, I want to be with you so much. Don't, don't humble yourself, brother. I want something back. Okay, okay. carry on. Help me. Carry on. Let's see you. Johnny Clark, you know who I am. Okay, well, wait a minute. Why do you, why do you always do that? Johnny Carson, they know who I am. Right. <laughs> now you're a great guy, Don. You are. Not that we give a shit. You're more than a relic of that era. You're still doing it, and Don, you are as fresh and funny now as you were 50 years ago. There are millions of nice guys, hundreds of funny people, but there's only one Don Rickles. Zagazu. Mm -hmm. From my heart, on behalf of my wife, Barbara, and I, being part of Casino was a great treat. It was a Cadillac. You are a Cadillac. To me, that is the top of the industry. Wherever your wonderful mother is, who I loved and adored, as certainly you did in your family, she's watching and smiling on you. God give you the great strength and courage to continue your great work. You are special. Never forget that. You are special. God bless you, and I love you. Mm. Mm. Really, from my heart. This is a long night. <laughs> I look around this room, and this is the home of the blacks. And I see three. And I, uh, you see, this is the home of the blacks, and I see three. God bless you, black people. I love you. I really do. Uh, and one of them is Tracy Morgan. Here, I'm sure one of you guys is up in my hotel room robbing me. He comes at everybody, bro. He comes at everybody. From the bottom of my heart, I'm a Jewish kid from Jackson Heights, Long Island. And God, God gave me a big chance and I kept punching and punching away. And my mother stood in the kitchen of all these rough clubs and said, he's funny, he's a funny kid, you love him, you love him. And to all of you, the love I've had, I wish for you. And I say for all of you that are here tonight, the main thing, may God give you health, health, and live a good life. And God bless you all. Thank you. God bless. Johnny Depp. Tracy. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for helping make this such a wonderful evening. Good night, everybody. I'll... Trade you laughter for love. Oh, he be singing. He be singing too. I'll trade you one for the other. This has been a crazy cool video, bro. Laughter for love. What can you lose? You got a good voice. Some madness for her. And for whatever it's worth. Whether you like it or not. I'll give you all. Ooh. I'll trade you sunlight for gold. How long did he do comedian? How long was he did he do uh comedy for? How long was he comedian for? Like 50 years? Love is pure gold and laughter the sun. Oh, I, this is my life for all of my life. He's singing with so much passion. And you are I swear that it's true. I love to do what I do to share this laughter I give for just a little love from Shares the laughter I give just for smile for you from you. Yo, this video was banging. Sheesh, man. I could have watched.
watch that all day, bro. Mad respect, bro. That's that dude, Don Rickles, bro. Just started getting to him, bro. Like, dang. That was a really, 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 really cool video, bro. I messed with that. Appreciate y'all for the love. Appreciate y'all for the support, bro. Just got through another Don Rickles video, bro. Make sure y'all check out the first one I dropped. My first ever time getting to Don Rickles. It was the Don Rickles, you know, the Savage Insults video. It's already posted, so let me know in the comments. Spam down below which I want next. Anything is game, bro. I'll go. I got a lot of Don Rickles on deck for y'all, so just be sure to comment down below all your suggestions so I can see what y'all want me to get to next. Much love. We're on the road to 50k, so you'll know the grind doesn't stop. Um, appreciate y'all for all the love. Um, and make sure to turn on post notifications because, you know what I'm saying, these videos will continuously be posted. Much love to y'all. Don Rickles, what a crazy cool video. I messed with that. Happy. Appreciate y'all for that suggestion. More to come. More, a lot more to come videos, so be sure to be on the lookout. But uh, like, comment, subscribe, share if you want to see more videos. It's your boy, King Supreme. Catch y'all next time, homies.